Right, now, in lesson five, we're going to differentiate a function with negative indices. Now, if you recall, the, the formula for differentiation from first principles is a limit as h goes to zero of function x plus h minus function x all over h. What we need to do in this case um, is uh, simply replace the uh, x with the x plus h, which I'll do now. So function x plus h is equal to a over x plus h. Therefore, function x plus h minus function x all over h will be equal. Now, this all over h, I'll write as 1 over h outside of the difference, which is a over x plus h minus a over x. Now, to make things a little bit easier, I'll take out the a as a common factor. And now we'll write this as 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x. Now I'll put um, this over a common denominator. What comes up here is x minus bracket x plus h all over x into x plus h. Okay, let's pause the video for a minute. Right, so now that continuing on here, that's equal to a over h. And this goes out and becomes a minus h over x into x plus h. Now these h's go out and you get the final result of minus a over x into x plus h. Now I recall that f dash x is equal to the limit as h goes towards zero of minus a over x into x plus h. And that will be, as h goes to zero, this will be x times x, which is minus a over x squared, which is minus a x to the negative two. Now, if you recall that the original function was a over x, which is a x to the negative one, then this obeys the rule because the minus one comes down, makes it a negative, take one away from minus one and you get minus two. Right, now here's a, a couple of examples to, to practice. First one's uh, pretty straightforward. Now just applying the rule, we get the minus two comes down the front and multiplies the three. So you get minus six x. Now just be careful here, subtracting the one from the two, you get minus three. And you can leave it like that, or you could put it back in the form minus six over x cubed. This one a little bit harder. What we have to do first before we can apply is to get it in the index form. So we need to split this up and we'll write this x squared over x plus one over x. And of course that becomes x plus x to minus one. So on differentiating x, we're just gonna get one. And differentiating this by the rule, it's gonna be minus x to minus two or if you like, one minus one over x squared. 